My next guest in the author's studio is an American lady who I'm hearing great things about, and she's being tipped as the new mistress of domestic suspense. A big welcome to Cara Rhoda, and let's see what she has to tell us. My um, thoughts about writing tips are funny because everybody writes differently and everybody has different ways to start and finish and begin. But I do know one thing, if you're not writing, then you'll never finish that novel. So I, uh, the, the one tip I give everybody who asks me for a writing tip is always just keep writing. Keep writing, writing, writing. Even when you don't feel like it that day, just write. I. I guess I like all of the books I've written and I've had fun writing each and every one of them. They all represent different times in my life and different ideas I was kind of uh, grappling with at the time. But I guess I would say right now I'm having a really great time returning to where I think my roots are, which is in the suspense field. So Best Day Ever was really fun to write. It came out really fast and uh, the character uh, just kind of drove it along. So I guess I'd say Best Day Ever is my favorite one. Well, yeah, that's a funny one because I don't have a really good set writing ritual, but I do have a great office now. We uh, live at the ocean, so I have a stand-up desk that's kind of a treadmill desk, and I like to stand there and kind of walk slowly while I'm writing, and um, that's my dog. My dog's usually sitting with me at the desk, and uh, and as for time of day, I usually start in the afternoon. I'm kind of a night owl, so in the morning I'm a little slower, but in the afternoon that's when things happen. Oh gosh, I was an English literature major, so I guess I've been reading all through uh, my life. It'd be hard to name any one book. My first book that I loved was by Robert McCloskey, Make Room for Ducklings, and I remember just carrying that around everywhere. I read Nancy Drew, of course, like growing up. But uh, I guess when I have to pick one, absolute one, I always say The Great Gatsby because I'm also intrigued by the whole notion of society and, and how we, especially upper class society where everything seems so perfect and behind closed doors, maybe it's never what, what it seems. Oh gosh, I would have said cheese until like a week ago when I decided that I'm gonna to try to be a vegan. And I'm telling you, it's not easy because I've been a vegetarian for a while, but that meant I could still have eggs and cheese and this whole giving up cheese thing is really, really tough. So. I'm not really sure I should even admit to that in this video because maybe I won't stick with it. But so, okay, it's not cheese. It would be vacations. I love to go on vacations with my family. So that's my favorite thing to do. Uh, no, just a lot of procrastination. I uh, am a class act procrastinator. So if I can find something else to do, then I will. But, but then I get down to work. I'm a pantser. I didn't even know that term, what, what it was until a while ago, but I don't plan books. In fact, like the thought of a synopsis makes me get hives all over the place. I'm learning, however, that people want synopsises, especially people like editors and those kind of people. So I'm trying to learn there's this happy place between, you know, a little bit of a synopsis and then just letting it flow. I guess it has to do with reviews, you know, because um, since we live in this world where everybody can have opinion about anything quickly and right away, I, um, I, I guess the thing about negative reviews always kind of is hard to answer. I heard Lee Child uh, talk about this just recently at the Harrogate Crime Festival, and he said, well, um, the, his attitude to negative reviews was at least they're reading. So if they're not my readers, at least they're somebody else's readers, and I think that's a great way to look at it. I don't know what that means as far as like accidentally deleted it or can't find it on my computer. Uh, yeah, because I'm totally disorganized <laughs> as far as losing other work. I'm not sure how to answer that question. So I think that's what it means. Yeah. Yeah, I 
always wanted to be an author from the moment I can remember actually articulating a career. Um, it was always to be an author like Robert McCloskey of Make Room for Ducklings, who I wrote to in third grade and he wrote me back and said I had picked the wrong hero because he was actually an illustrator, not an author. But aside from that, I also wanted to be Darren Stevens and Bewitch, so I had kind of like this uh, creative side as well in advertising, which is what I pursued for a really long time while I procrastinated about getting around to writing, but I'm glad I finally have. Thanks so much, Kara, and I look forward to watching your rising stellar career with great interest.